everyone, welcome to your January edition of TNT Monthly Boom. It's the interview queen, Alicia Toot here as seen on MLW and NotFest, and I am back to tell you about some fantastic upcoming shows. From myself and everyone here at TNT, we'd like to wish you happy holidays and a wonderful new year. However, the season's greetings come to an end this week to be replaced with season's beatings at Merseyside Massacre and Ignition Rumble, our first two shows of the year. Both will come to you live from Fusion Nightclub in Liverpool. Now, Merseyside Massacre takes place on Thursday, the 6th of January. Meanwhile, Ignition Rumble takes place on Sunday, the 9th of January. Tickets are still available, but more info will be coming on that shortly. As always, TNT Monthly Boom is brought to you by Rammer Clobber, who creates some of the coolest streetwear available on this side of the Mercy and beyond. Now, recent COVID-19 restrictions implemented by the UK government have meant that the way we do things is changing. Your temperature will be taken at the door and face coverings are mandatory unless you are exempt. We realize that this is a very difficult time for everyone, but as long as we stick to these rules, we will pull through together. So without further ado, let's take a look at our over 18 show Merseyside Massacre from the top. TNT made it clear at the end of last year that they would be showcasing local independent companies from around the UK to give a variety of promotions a bigger stage. After all, we are stronger together. The VIP section for the show provides that for McCombrey's Odyssey Pro Wrestling as their champion Ryan Hunter defends the belt against the Playboy Prince Lance Rivera. The VIP experience has also been expanded to include not one, but two fantastic matches. So after the Odyssey Showcase, Ireland's own LJ Cleary will take on the high-flying Dynamo from the 0121 Man Like Darice. These two young lions will be fighting to prove they belong alongside some of the best in the UK and Ireland. And if you thought that the VIP card was explosive, then the main show will blow your mind. We kick things off with a huge tag team championship confrontation where the Kings of the North collide with one of the UK's most dangerous independent teams, Lycos Gym. After losing the tag team championships at Thrill Kill, Kings of the North avenge their losses at Cold Day and Hell to become two-time champions. With their vigor freshly renewed, Damian Corbin and Bonesaw will intend on ripping some heads off, but Lycos Gym will not be a day at the park for the Belfast team. Having been jointly awarded both Extreme Woman of the Year and Extreme Match of the Year at the TNT Awards 2021, Lizzie Evo clearly had an exceptional 2020. The only problem is that she is no longer your TNT Women's Champion, having lost the belt to Alexis Falcon in an awe-inspiring 30-minute Iron Woman's match at Cold Day in Hell. As such, the Liverbird will be looking to jumpstart her momentum once again, but she may have a roadblock in front of her as she clashes with one of the UK's best, Emerson Jane. Emerson was a semi-finalist at this year's Total Carnage Tournament and will be looking to further stake her claim in TNT, but Evo's partner, Angel Hayes, could well prove to be the difference maker. Next up is a huge hardcore encounter that will determine the next number one contender for the TNT Extreme Division Championship. Due to unforeseen circumstances, Clint Margera will not be able to compete at Merseyside Massacre. However, he has not used this as an opportunity to take a back seat and has opened talks with TNT management regarding what will happen at the January 6th show. Take a look at the champion's comments from the man himself. What's up everyone? Hope you all had a good uh, Christmas break. And, uh, good New Year. Um, just want to jump on and just address Merseyside Massacre on the 6th of January. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to attend the show, so I just wanted to put a message out there and apologise. So, um, with that in mind, I'll be talking to TNT management and we've kind of come up with an idea. So, you are still going to get a match of the more hardcore variety, should we say, and it's going to be between Rory Coyle and Aspen Faith, and the winner of that is going to become the number one contender to the TNT Extreme Division Championship. So may the best man win, and whoever that is, I'll see you in DOA. And there you have it, former World Tag Wars combatant Aspen Faith will collide with Extreme Division stalwart and one of the new sick boys, Rory Coyle, for an opportunity at Clint Margera's title. Both men will be so hungry to prove themselves, so this will be one you will not want to miss. 
Next up, we have another huge title fight as two of the UK's premier high-flying athletes go toe-to-toe -to -toe for the most electrifying title in TNT. Yes, it's the Ultra X Championship as the Grebo grappler Scotty Rock defends against the inimitable Robbie X. Now, the story of this one goes all the way back to Extreme Fields where there was a triple threat encounter between Rock, Robbie, and Nico Angelo where Robbie came out victorious over Angelo. Scotty Rock had a few words regarding the upcoming match. First, I just want to thank TNT genuinely for believing in me as the Ultra X Champion, for allowing me to go out there and put on absolutely belting performances with some of the UK's best. <clears throat> At tonight, called Day in Hell, me and Lycos 2 went at it, and at the end, a little sign of respect. And that is all I need to secure my mind. I am a lad, I will be real with you, I will shoot. I'm a lad with massive imposter syndrome. But nights like this help me believe that I belong here at TNT holding this belt, performing every month with the best talent this country has to offer. But when I said I wanted the best, I meant it. And our extreme fields, me, Robbie X, Nico Angelo, triple threat. It was a non-title match and Robbie X pinned Nico Angelo. Now he might think he's got one up on me. And fair fucks the lad. I strongly believe that Robbie X is the best this country has to offer. TNT, give me Robbie X. Some very strong words there from Scotty Rock. Will Rock continue his dominant streak as champion, or will Robbie finally prove that X marks the spot? Alexis Falcon got her reign as current women's champion off to a great start with her landmark win over Lizzie Evo in the Iron Woman match at Cold Day in Hell. She'll be looking to keep her championship momentum going against one of the country's toughest stars, the bad girl Chantal Jordan. Alexis has shown every intention of being a fighting champion, and a fight is exactly what Chantal will be bringing with her on January 6th. Finally, in your blockbuster Merseyside Massacre main event, Dan Maloney puts his newly acquired TNT World Championship on the line against two of the absolute best the UK have to offer. Flex Adam Max said will be desperate to prove himself, as will UK wrestling legend Dino Dean Allmark. Both men will come ready, but Drilla will not allow himself to be denied as he continues to make his mark as the best in the United Kingdom. For tickets to Merseyside Massacre, see WrestlingTravel.com. General admission tickets are still available as are VIP. Now VIP comes with a special meet and greet, early entry, and an exclusive match. Booths for up to four people are also available and these come with either VIP or general entry. So go to WrestlingTravel.com now for more information. If Merseyside Massacre doesn't sound quite like your cup of tea and you want a show you can enjoy with your family, you're in luck, as Ignition Rumble aims to set the year off strong on the 9th of January. The VIP section for the show will have a truly massive women's encounter as four of Merseyside's rising stars look to prove themselves in a huge fatal four-way explosion. Hannah Taylor steps into an Ignition ring again, looking to take this opportunity by the horns, but she'll have to contend with the master of the wig wham bam, Lucy Sky. Guy, Aurora Tevez and Nine Stone of Scouse Girl Power Harley Hudson. All four women will be looking to make their name and prove they have what it takes to light the fuse at Ignition. Next up on the main card, we will have a huge Ultra X encounter. The defending champion depends on the result of the Merseyside Massacre match between Scotty Rock and Robbie X. Either way, we're assured of a lightning-faced encounter as they step up against impressive newcomer Jimmy Jackson. Next up is a huge grudge match dating back to the VIP experience at Cold Day in Hell. Sonner Durson overcame former professional boxer RPD in dubious circumstances. Now, the man fighting out of Davies Boxing Gym gets another shot against the Turkish Wolf. RPD had Durson on the ropes last time. Will he be able to land a huge blow to Sonner, or will Durson slip out with the victory? 
Scott Oberman is looking for an opportunity to get his championship back, and he's hatched a devious plan. He's going to put his ignition career on the line to get it. Standing in his way, however, is none other than the Prince of Ignition and the current Level Up briefcase holder, Tom Felwell. And finally, in a huge title bout, the new champion, the infamous Cameron Solas, puts his newly won gold against one of the best youngsters that the UK has to offer, Kid Lycos 2. Lycos is already well known as a great high flyer, but his match against Kings of the North will prove he's up for a scrap. However, Cameron will not go down easily, ensuring this title bout should be a fight for the ages. Now, for the main event in a contest that will have implications on the entire TNT Ignition year is the Ignition Rumble. 20 combatants will enter at regular intervals in the hopes of becoming the number one contender to the Ignition Championship, which at the end of the night could be worn by either Cameron Solas or Kid Lycos 2. This marks a huge opportunity to step up and compete for the belt, but who will rise up and realize their destiny by being the last person standing? Just like Mercy Side Massacre, tickets are still available for Ignition Rumble now on WrestlingTravel.com. These are available for general admission and VIP, and booth packages are available as well. Just before we wrap up, let's have a quick word from our sponsors. Tickets to all TNT shows as well as special travel packages for massive wrestling events are available through Wrestling Travel. If you are interested in tickets, you can also speak to the TN team on social media for more details. Wrestle Merch Central has all the latest merch for your favorite TNT talents. Pins and knuckles are available for all your merchandising needs, whether you're a wrestler, musician, or simply want your own merch made. Check them out today. A huge thank you to our training school, Claw, as Claw provides high quality wrestling training on Merseyside at affordable prices, and with a host of great seminars on the way now is the perfect time to join. You can see the Claw's social media pages for more details on that. And of course, don't forget to check out Powered 4 TV, where TNT's back catalog is currently hosted for your streaming pleasure. And finally, we are proudly sponsored by Rammer Clobber, so check out their unique brand of streetwear on Facebook today. Don't forget to get your tickets today as well, and on behalf of TNT Extreme Wrestling, it's been the interview queen, Alicia Tu. Until next time.